The Dead Rise to Assist the Living in Secret Empire, issue number 5. So let's jump in and see what exactly happens. Okay guys, so let's get right into Secret Empire issue number 5. And as it opens up, we see the one and only Madame Hydra, as she is giving a speech to her Hydra soldiers. And she's about to go interrogate a very familiar face. A face that's opposed to Secret Empire since the very beginning. This happens to be Natasha Romanoff, aka the Black Widow. And we see that she's being very cooperative with Ophelia. She's unwilling to give up pretty much any information she is asking for. And this seems very strange to her. And this is because she has a contingency plan that if anything happens to her, Captain America will find out about these small time operations that she's been running under his nose and Natasha knows that the punishment will be death. That being said, at the same time, we see Natasha's team is still very much trying to get inside and continue the mission that they were working on. Unfortunately, this is filled with, um, well, a bunch of jokes at the behalf of Miles Morales, who on a previous mission left his phone active. As the comic keeps going, we see that our Avengers arrive at Wakanda. Now here, they're trying to reason with the one and only Black Panther telling him that they need the shard that he possesses. Unfortunately, Black Panther isn't going to even be willing to hear out their reasoning, and he just more or less tells them, listen, leave, I want nothing to do with you. I have an agreement, they're not going to come after me, and if they do, I'll be able to fight them off because that's what Wakanda has done in the past. Over with our other Avengers team, which consists of familiar faces like Hercules and Mockingbird, they're not having too good of a time either. Um, they're trying to fight their foes, but we see that they're more or less in a losing battle. And as we keep switching back and forward in the comic with some of the other teams, we see that no one is really doing better than they were last issue. As a matter of fact, a lot of them are doing far worse. Over with Captain America, we see that he is meeting with Beast, who's quite happy that mutants now have their own nation and they're not being, you know, oppressed. But of course, this does come at the price of pretty much seeing everybody suffer, and that's not necessarily a good thing. We quickly catch up with Thor, who's having a crisis of his own. The entire time he's been on Earth with these people, one of the only people he's really gotten the respect of and one of the people he respects the most happens to be Steve Rogers. And now he's conflicted as to his standing because he's not worthy, Captain America is. And what exactly does this mean? How is someone who is doing these things that are perceived as evil so worthy? So he is questioning the All-Father. As our main Avengers team is arriving and meeting up with some of the other members, we more or less learn that Tony has been talking... Just a bunch of um, fantasy land stuff here. Essentially, he's been telling them he has a way to track these shards, which turns out to be complete crap. He really didn't have a plan or anything like that. He didn't know. He just assumed where they were. But he was doing it in hopes of the team kind of feeling that they had a chance of winning. But unfortunately, they don't really have any chance of winning because, well, um... You know, Cap has more shards. And speaking of Cap, we go to the other Captain America who's walking with two very familiar faces as they're going through the woods following some fresh brand new tracks. And this doesn't go too good for Bucky considering he ends up getting into a trap, ends up getting sprung up into the air in a net, and gets shot in the neck with a dart. And this is where things take a huge major twist. It turns out... A familiar face is here and he tells Steve that he is his salvation and his way out of here. This just so happens to be the Red Skull. But if that's not the only twist that's going to absolutely blow you away, we go back to catch up with Captain America running the Empire and he has someone he needs to talk to. Someone that's being locked up. Someone that's sedated, but they need him right now. And as they open the door to this giant secret Empire, uh cage slash vault you can say that's keeping him at bay we see that bruce banner is very well alive and is about to come face to face with steve so yeah this issue was loaded and i mean loaded with tons of revelations little things here and there to just further continue to cement secret empire as one of marvel's most solid events 
you, all the twists and turns, everything's just absolutely awesome. The storyline, kick ass. The art, absolutely beautiful. Secret Empire issue number five is another winner from top to bottom, from the revelations, from the mystery and the answers we get in it. Absolutely love it. Nine out of ten.